Hi, my name is Jeremy Cook. I've got a small hobby cast style boat called a Pringle that the uh, the mast, or actually the boom broke when uh, had a bit of an accident with the mast. As you can see here, this uh, this flange here is broken. So I'm going to try to make something with my lathe that'll replace this piece. This is the bolt that it goes on to. I think it's maybe a 3 8 16, but I'm not I'm not totally sure about that. So I'll measure it, see what happens, and see if I can turn down a piece for it. So the plan is to make some sort of plug. I just happen to have one, a wood one, left over from another project. Take it, take it down on a lathe and then stick it in here. I'll then counterbore one end and then put that, put that pull through. This plug is what I've eventually come up with. It's got a counterbore here that's, let's see, about 0.8. 0.87, so about 7 eighths of an inch goes all the way through this this plug plug itself is about 1 1.85 inches I mean that didn't have to be real exact it's also got a, a slot on the top here that compensates for this this area that goes down you can't really see it on the video but it basically uh, keeps keeps the sail intact in, inside of it and then through this I've got a 3 8 inch hole so I'll put it in here and I'll mark these extra holes that I've drilled here. This is an original hole and then here mark that on these or maybe drill it a little bit and then um, tap it and then it'll hopefully be hopefully be able to support the boom. It's a pretty good fit and as you can see the monkey's fist lets me get it right out. Without this it'd be a real pain. I guess I'm going to go ahead and drill drill it just without marking it here. Save a step. So I'm going to go ahead and tap it for a 1024. See if it holds well. So here's a 1024 screw. Slides right in. Right in. It doesn't come out easily. I'll try this for the other three and then I'll install it. I've tapped and test fit all the 1024 screws in these different holes and the clevis fits in pretty well so I'll um, put the back piece in here, the, uh, the washer and then the, uh, the nut and then I'll put it on the, on the boom. Somehow I've got this 9 16th inch nut driver which is a real lifesaver since this uh, counter counter bore really needs to be a bit bigger, but I'll use this to put it in. Pretty solid. So let's see if this thing's going to fit in here. Screws seem to line up somewhat, so we'll screw it in and see if it'll work. So there you go, there's my custom custom end cap for my boom, for my Prindle, Prindle 16, like a Hobie Cat 16. Here's another view of everything. There's the wood cap, the, the clevis, and these 1024 screws are holding everything together. So if you, if you make one yourself, be sure to let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear about it.